Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil. This is our second video and in this video we will see that how we can make a project layout. So these are the major points of this video. So first of all, we will see how we can make the controller, router, view and layout. In this ways, if you don't know that how we can create these things, then you will also know that as well as you know that, that how we can just sync these things in the project also. After that, we will add the bootstrap and jQuery so that we can uh, make our website responsive for the upcoming videos and a good layout also. So now let's start with the first command for making the controller. So just come on a command line and just write the command php artisan make controller and controller name. So my controller name will be a resto controller because restaurant controller will be a long name. So just write here resto controller and just hit the enter when you hit the enter you will find that you just got a controller inside the http controller and just make a refresh it and how you will find it so here just make a function and function name can be anything like for a moment i am just going to function name index and just return something here for a moment uh, let's say all is well after that uh, now let's define the route for it and for that let's open the web.php file and just make a new route route and here you can just simply write here get and the path will be home and here you can just put your controller name as well as your index name uh, sorry a function name right you, you got you got that this is the uh, controller name and this is the function name right and let's make it close with the semicolon so i can just remove this uh, route or i can just comment it because on a home now we will open this one so now let's check what we got on the home all is well perfect so now the two or three things are working fine now let's see that how we can define the view for defining the view let's come inside the resource views and make a file with the name of let's say home dot blade dot php and here we can just write a h1 tag like home page and to access this let's go inside the controller and just simply write here view and uh, home dot blade dot php will be accessed by the simply home now let's see what we are getting here that the home page all right perfect so now let's see that how we can make the layout for making the layout you again you have to come inside the views let's create a new file with the name of layout or anything that you just want to make like layout structure or style whatever dot play dot php all right and here we will define our layout so just make a, a html tag here and here we can just define a head tag and inside the head tag uh, we can just define simply title and in the title just define here restaurant app restaurant app something all right so after that uh, let's make a body and in the body we can also define the footer and header just find the footer like uh, copyright copyrights by restaurant app or something like and now let's define the header here also and in the header we can just make something like uh, menu will be here or something all right and now let's format it and after that uh, you can also define a div tag here in this div tag if we have some inner part which are which is extending this page like we just want to show the home page edit page or login page it we will d just define it here all right if you don't know that i just want to tell you that layout uh, layout page is used for showing the common part or common area of your uh, website like you just want to show the common header common footer on the old pages then we can use the 
layout page all right we will make the layout page and all pages will be included here how we can include them now let's see so we have a div tag here and in this tag i'm just going to define a yield and let's define a yield name like content like this all right after defining this now let's see that how we can access this layout page just come to the home remove this content uh, like this and just use your extend and with the extend let's define the name of layout name of the page that you just want to extend so just say I want to extend the layout like this after that let's define the section section name can be content this name and this name should be matched then this area will be automatically fill up there all right and after that we can just show some h1 tag or something like home page is here and let's define at the rate stop like this so now let's see what we are getting here we got the header we got the title we got the footer and we got the home page here also this is the common layout for all pages okay so after that now let's uh, see that how we can add the uh, bootstrap and jquery all right we will add the bootstrap or jquery on the layout page and then they are included in the every pages automatically all right so just go on the bootstrap for website and let's click on a first link we will find here some kind of cdn so let's uh, just add the cdn copy it from here and we can just simply uh, paste it on the layout header area so you can also remove uh, let's hide it sidebar so that you can see it completely right so we can also get it in the two lines if you just want to remove this integrity then you can also remove there is a no use for uh, our sample project after that let's uh, get the JS completely this part and uh, let's add it like this all right so now let's try to see what we are getting at now you will feel that the content is changed here now the content is looking a li little bit nice and background is also changed all right so in the upcoming video we will see that how we can add the menus and how we can make the more routes and all so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care